What's going on guys? It's your boy JP Zario Zero A coming to y'all with another how-to to make your install life a little easier, baby. Yeah. This is a 2013 Ford Explorer. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to take the dash out because they have an amp and sub already in here. We just have to hook up the line output converter. And uh, this is one of the main reasons why I do these videos because they actually have their RCAs and their power uh, not power the RCAs and the remote wire behind the radio but if they knew how to hook up the LOC they wouldn't be here today so that's exactly why I do these videos because they done everything else and now you got to come up here and pay to get this job done I'm not saying that I don't want to do it I just like to help out but either way this is how you take this out and I might as well just show you how to hook it up one more time uh, panel popper you already know what the deal is grab this one right here and then you want to come right here boom get a little leverage bow that boy pops off do the same thing on this side bow that boy pops off uh then you have four sevens that's going to take off this whole front face plate and you have one harness in the back that controls the all these little panels and the ac and all that kind of stuff that's the small harness right here now we're looking at four more seven mils you take those two i mean huh you take those four out and boom we got our radio out now this is where their remote wire and rcas are like i said if they knew how to do this they would have done it themselves because they you you came this far but not to fear this is why i'm here so these are actually my speaker wires and my power and ground that we're going to use for our LOC. Now I've been doing a lot of forwards here lately so I already know that uh, this white and this white brown is the front left, this white purple and white orange is the front right, this is my ground, this is my 12 volt constant. I'm going to hook these two powers, I'm going to hook these power and ground up, it's going to give me a remote output to go to this uh, remote right here. And then these two are going to tap into my high level to get my low level signal to hook that up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and uh, show you how I make it all nice and neat. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got my LOC already installed. It's not pretty just yet, but it is installed. So I got my 12 volt constant yellow wire going to my 12 volt constant. My black wire ground, got it tapped into the ground. Uh, I got my front left positive and negative wires going to my positive and negatives on the pop negatives. My positive and negative wires going on the uh, front left speaker. I got my front right speaker going to the front right speaker, positive and negative. If you guys don't know the wire colors, I suggest you get on the forum, uh, look it up, try to find something. There's, there's some type of information on which wire colors is what, modified the 12 voltcom something. But either way, all that stuff is hooked up. Now, I do want to tell you, if I was doing a four, I'm only doing this setup as far as tapping in, is because we're only hooking up a sub amp. If I was doing a four channel amplifier where they want to amplify the factory speakers, I would cut these. And I showed you guys this method in my, uh, hold on, let that truck go by. I showed you guys this method in my other video how to install the LLC. I will cut these and on my harness side that goes to the radio that will get hooked up to the LLC because that will give us our signal and the speaker side of this I would have that going straight to my aftermarket amplifier but we're not doing that so what I'm gonna do is uh tidy this up hook up my remote this is a bass knob, so I'm gonna run that as well. Well, gain, it's the kind of the remote, the, the gain, the gain, the gain. Comes with the bass knob, so that's the gain, whatever. So uh, I'm gonna hook all that up, make it nice and neat, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so you see we got everything. Tesla tape back up, looks like factory. Threw a couple zip ties on there. I'm gonna clean their RCAs up just a tad bit, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but when I turn this on, this red light should come on. Yep, there we go. So it lets us know that everything is hooked up properly. I just heard the sub pop just a tad bit, so we know we got our remote working, and we should have some bass now. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Peace.